Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for contracting, code reviews, and on-site training. Now, two episodes ago, I did an episode on using lambdas as custom comparators in the associative containers in C++. So that includes set, multi-set, map, and multi-map. And I demonstrated that using set. And I really wanted to just show that it's difficult and cumbersome and there's no like clear natural way of using lambdas as comparators. That was the point of that episode. But I got some pushback from a few people saying, well, you know, you can just create a handy helper function to use the lambda as a comparator for you. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. But I'm going to take it a step further, and we're going to combine everything that we've talked about with lambdas and comparators in the last several episodes into one episode here. So this is approximately what we started with in the episode two episodes ago with lambdas as com custom comparators. And we've got our lambda as a custom comparator here, and then we are setting the type of our set to have this decal type of the lambda because the type of a lambda is unknowable. It is not possible for us to name it. We must use something like a decal type or auto or template type deduction to use it. So we have this set that has a person and it's got this decal type of the comparator and then we are moving the comparator in. And I'm doing that just to demonstrate that it is possible to have lambdas that are not copyable, so we want to move it in. So let's go ahead and make our handy helper function that the viewers from two episodes ago would like us to make. And again, I'm using the Compiler Explorer here, not really to show the assembly output on something like this, because it is just, you know, a lot to go over. But I'm using it just to show that what we are doing does in fact compile, and I am using the latest version of GCC with C++17 enabled. So we're using, oh, we have our make set function here, and now we can do something like auto set equals and well, well, I skipped a part because I am forcing this to be a set of type person. Let's make it slightly more generic, but not as generic as it could be just to keep this a little bit more straightforward. And so now we can do something like this. We can pass our lambda directly to this function and the type is deduced by the templated function and we are able to just pass in this forwarded comparator into here. We're doing a decay t thing just to make sure that we're using the base type not a const or a reference. And so we have our set and this does what we wanted it to do. But this is a bit limited. So we talked in the last episode about using transparent comparators. So let's see if we can take this to the place of having transparent lambda comparators. And we're going to do that by making this now into a variadic template that can take multiple comparators. So we've updated our function to take our variadic set of comparators, but now we need to somehow make this into our transparent merged set of comparators. And we've only got one comparator in here so far. So let's go ahead and add a couple more just so that we've got a running thing of what's going on while we are doing these tests. So we're going to start with this person-to-person -person comparator, and then like in the example that we had in the last episode for transparent comparators, I'm going to make a person to auto so that I can compare just the name to whether it's a string or a string view or const car star or some sort of string-like thing that is comparable to the name of the person. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, but our parameter packs aren't being expanded inside our make set function. So let's go ahead and do this. And what we need to do is we need to create a struct, a local struct inside of our make set function that does the transparent comparisons that we want it to do. 
And if you've seen any of my videos on inheriting from lambdas, then that's what we're going to do here is we're going to inherit from all of the comparators that have been passed in to us. And now we need to use our variadic using declaration, which was added in C17. So this pulls in the call operator from all the lambdas that we're inheriting from. That's good. And now we need to set up our is transparent. And just like in the last example, I'm going to use some primitive type. We just have to say something is transparent for the standard library to pick that up for the set implementation. So now the next thing that we need to do is actually construct our set. And this is relatively easy because we know the second template parameter is our compare type that we have just declared. But we need to figure out how to actually construct our compare object that we are passing into the set. And that raises the question of what constructor should our compare have. And we've got a minor problem here because we're not allowed to declare a template inside of a local struct inside a function. So if we were to do something like this, then we immediately get this invalid declaration of member template and local class. And we wanted to do this because we wanted to be able to do this, you know, continuing level of perfect forwarding of the thing that was passed to us for the comparator. But we have an extra help in C17 where we are now able to direct initialize the base class of a struct using the uniform initialization syntax. So what we can do is create our new compare object inside of our call to the constructor for standard set and just pass in simply all of the forwarded comparators that were passed to us. So now we have something that is extremely succinct. We have no constructor declared here, and this is certainly one of those cases where I would argue that less is way better, because this now the compiler can do the most efficient thing possible. And we can pass in all of our perfectly forwarded comparator objects in and initialize the base classes of our compare struct that we need. We've declared that locally here, and then we are able to return the object here, and we take care of return value optimization and guaranteed move elision from C17, and we know that this is not going to cause any overhead. And I believe that this is about as perfectly as we could do something like this. And so now we can prove that it is working to ourselves by doing this example that we had done in the last version and say, let's count the number of quote Bob objects in here. And we know now just simply by the fact that this compiles, that the compiler finds our transparent comparator that we have declared and that it is able to find the correct operator paren from the correct lambda to compare the string-like thing to the person that's in the set. So leave a comment or send me a tweet and let me know if you can come up with a more efficient way of doing this that is at least as uh, succinct code. Uh, now granted I could have added comments here or something to make it a little bit more readable, but I think this is about the best that we can possibly do for this kind of application, and I will put a link to this Compiler Explorer output in the comments for this video. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.